you could feel the excitement as nearly 200 WGL volunteers gathered at Southeast Station on November 7th to kick off the third annual day of weatherization. WGL executives Terry McAllister and Adrian Chapman thanked employees for their support and emphasized spirit of volunteerism at WGL. Volunteers provided energy efficient upgrades to 80 homes throughout DC, Maryland, Virginia, and West Virginia, including installing plastic on windows, weather stripping, caulking around doors and windows, and installing faucet aerators. So how can homeowners in the DC area benefit from weatherization? To save on our carbon footprint, um, that's most um, definite. And for sustainability in the District of Columbia, we want as much efficiency as we can have. And for our residents, um, my constituents, um, to save money on their monthly utility bills. I think that's awesome. WGL also did something new this year to help homeowners. The organization teamed up with the nonprofit Grid Alternatives to install solar panels on four homes in the District of Columbia. It's good for the environment. Um, it saves energy, um, and it's and it's a viable source um, for clean energy. And I think that um, once people catch on to it, that it will be something that homeowners will invest in um, because it does save money and it saves the environment. Well, Great Alternatives as a new partner in the Mid-Atlantic is uh, extremely excited to be working with WGL in the years to come. And, you know, we're new to the community, um, but we think there's a wonderful marriage between the synergy of solar installation in low-income communities and the work that WGL is doing around weatherization and diversified energy sources in the area. WGL, I just thank them for offering this to everyone. And so I'm just happy to be given an opportunity to participate in helping the, uh, make the environment better.